What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you the war recap. Oh my goodness, I could not believe. Yet again, we had CCL wars back to back. I'm sure most of you saw the Colt September uh, CCL war. This one was against One Hive 2.0. What makes this very interesting is our last war in CWL Invite Season 3 was against 2.0, GG to them. And our last war ever uh, for the CCL was yet again against One Hive 2.0, getting a narrow victory over Forge from Steel, a one star victory, the final 105 to 106. We were pretty much trailing them on three stars throughout the war. And yet again, like I said, uh, the same thing that happened in the CCO against Cold September, it all came down to the very end. We'll go ahead and check out the war events, guys. This right here is when we finally, uh, so right here, Luke, this hit by Luke with 38 minutes left, that tied us. Uh, Tadpole getting a fresh 10v10 on their number 13, King Ho. I will be showing you guys uh, that replay. Uh, that put us ahead by one. Then right here, that insane, that I'm sure you guys just saw that opener in the intro, super queen of Fat Joe getting uh, a, an incredible three star, and one of the most clutch queens I've ever seen, taking down Rock, um, so that tied it up, and then they got an 11v11 three star, their one and only 11v11 this war, against Lunchbox with only six minutes left. And then we pretty much had back to back to back fails to round it off. But again, GG to One Hive 2.0 with this incredible war. I do have some incredible attacks uh, to show you guys, but GG to them. They did have one 11v11 three star, and they had a very, very impressive, as we scroll, you know, we gotta show you guys one Town Hall 9 hit. Uh, they did have a very, very impressive. Nine 10 v 10 three stars. A few of those were fresh. We had some fresh as well. We had a total of seven 10 v 10s and we had two 11 v 11 three stars. And yet again, uh, our Town Hall 9's definitely struggling. We ended up clearing 9's with 9's, thank goodness. Uh, came down to the last few attacks again. Uh, we did have uh, a couple scouts where we got the where we got most or a couple of their town hall tens doubled with their town hall nines, uh, but yeah, it was I mean it, got, it was sketchy again, guys. Definitely sketchy. If you are a town hall nine watching this, please apply. Uh, we're definitely looking for some town hall nines, some OP town hall nines. But our nines did get it done, and again in the CCL, this is a no dip league. So I'm gonna tell you guys, it is um, it's clutch. It's definitely clutch. Uh, nines have got to clear nines, but again, we did get it done. I'm showing you guys Groot's uh, attacks. We only had a couple uh, 9v9 six packers, Groot being one of them. Shout out to him. And this one was fresh, he had one cleanup. This was his fresh attack. And again, not my favorite attack to do fresh, but he was able to get a, pre a pretty simple uh, CC lure. Uh, just dropping down a couple balloons to start it off, and he went ahead and pulled. Um, the enemy CC troops over here by the town hall take, took care of it with the heroes and had a, I mean, had a solid Lalo. Uh, as you can see, the pathing is, I mean, it kind of breaks up over here. Uh, he does kind of get a loon split, but he has plenty of spells uh, left for this. More or less kind of, he probably could have held the heal, uh, but definitely ending on a wizard tower made the, the right choice and went ahead and dropped it. There it goes. Uh, but yeah, right here, kind of dropped that, that mortar up there, kind of got away from him. Uh, but all in all, was a very, very solid attack. And like I said, I think we only had two, no, not two, maybe three uh, Town Hall 9s getting the six packs. A uh, lot of fails, but again, we did get it done. So shout out to Groot. That is going to be our Town Hall 9 three star to kick off uh, the war recap. And we do have... Um, some amazing attacks. I want to show you guys. I'm going to give a shout out to all the 10v10s. We can't show all seven of them. You guys already know how it is now in this new meta. We are getting more 10v10s. So with that, we cannot show all of them. Shout out to these nuts getting it done uh, with miners right here. This hit from Zongo. This one right here, you guys. We're calling this one the golden shower. 
and you guys are going to see why. I know we've we've seen a, a couple YouTubers featuring this attack in the war against Cold September. We had Luke doing the golden shower. Now we're gonna see Zongo knocking it out, bringing 37 hogs. Uh, he's also gonna be bringing seven along in the CC, and he's gonna have his four heal spells, his two skeleton spells, and two poisons. So right here, getting decent value from that baby dragon. Gonna go ahead and drop down a couple giants to tank the uh, the Tesla for the enemy queen, who's right behind the giants. Gonna get really, really good value uh, from that queen. You're gonna see uh, he's gonna be starting his hogs to ensure that his heroes go ahead and stay alive pretty much for the remainder of the raid. So right there goes ahead and pops king ability and queen ability at the same time. Here comes the flood of hogs. Uh, and you'll see right here why we're calling it the golden shower. Pretty much showering the base with uh, the heal spells. Again, he is bringing four of them along to this attack. And just like we saw in Luke's attack uh, from the last war, bringing five balloons and you're gonna see how much value bringing just a few loons to this attack causes. And as we're seeing, we're seeing a lot more ground um, skeleton traps as opposed to uh, the air skellies. So bringing those loons really, really helps the hogs out. So right here, he's gonna drop a couple on this mortar, get rid of that splash, and a couple on this Tesla, with the help of a hog, ends up taking it out as a giant bomb goes off. And you'll see right here, nice pathing, he's all out of uh, heal spells. He's already used all four of them. Uh, he's, and notice y'all, he even has his queen still up, dropping down some goblins. And right there, uh, those hogs damn near ending on the bomb tower and the single IT, but getting it done, even look at that, the little loon that could, saving one loon for cleanup, getting the job done. Huge shout out to Zongo. Uh, and doing it with the golden shower. That is what we're going to be naming that attack. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And we've seen that one. Uh, NECA, this was also a fresh hit. Like I said, I want to show you guys all the fresh hits. This is the first one I'll be showing you guys. And we still have a couple more to get through because I want to show you guys the 11, the 11 three stars as well. Uh, so right here, going to be doing it. I mean, this is, this is damn near the most solid attack uh, that you can do right now, especially in the NDL or the, the no dip style wars. Um, this attack right here is, is definitely ideal for doing, uh, fresh, you know, granted what, depending what the CC is, even if it's a hound with the queen under rage, you get some wizards under rage. They beat through the hound pretty quickly. Uh, you won't know where the Teslas are, uh, like NECA didn't know. Um, but again, it's very, very solid. Uh, I mean, just a straight up, uh, I mean, we've seen CB, uh, the CB entries on the kill squad, but doing the shattered kill squads on this attack, uh, whether it's fresh, whether it's cleanup, this is pretty much the most solid attack that we can find right now at Town Hall 10, uh, the, the shattered uh, Goho, uh, or Go Hobo, Go Hobo? Yes. Uh, okay, so Hog's coming in over here at nine o'clock, dropping down the heel spell coming up on the first IT, and right next to that where we have a bomb tower. So uh, gonna get good value from that heal spell. He still has two more to deploy. And you can already see uh, the section that the kill squad carved out and definitely has decent uh, hog pathing through the remainder of this base. They're gonna go ahead, they already took out the second inferno tower, second bomb tower already down. Hogs under heal, gonna go ahead and bring them back up to full health. And you'll see has one more heal spell uh, for this uh, six o'clock uh, section of this base, two cannons, two wizard towers. Hog can go ahead and run right through it. We'll go ahead and times four this. As you guys know, we don't want the videos to get too long. Uh, but huge shout out to NECA, getting it done fresh. He's usually one of the first Town Hall 10s in, uh, so he's often hitting fresh and he's getting those three stars. So huge, huge shout out uh, to him. Good performance this war. Uh, didn't have any 10v10 six packs, but like I said, we did have big shout out to Luke. Also getting a 10v10 three star. Uh, here we have Dauphine getting a 10v10 three star. Shout out to him. And right here, Tadpole coming in clutch. Uh, one thing I forgot to, or I failed to mention when we were looking at the war events, I can show it to you guys at the end. Tadpole getting this fresh 10v10, uh, just a few minutes left in war. Uh, right after this attack, like literally just a few minutes after this attack, he went in again, uh, saved his attacks till the very end, got a 98%, uh, which would have tied us, would have tied us. Not exactly sure. I mean, they won on Total Destruction. 
I mean, just by a slight margin. So who knows if you got that extra 2%, uh, if it went to a tie, would we have won? Not too sure. Uh, but yeah, 98% had like, I think he had the spell factory and like a barracks up or something. Uh, had about 12 loons and a whole bunch of minions and pups. Uh, just so, so close to getting that three star, but huge shout out to him. Uh, and again, the, the tack you guys are watching right now was a fresh 10v10 three star. So here we go. Queen is in. Uh, had a beautiful wall break right there. Uh, there was a damage CC that came out. Uh, went ahead, dropped down his max poison to go ahead and take care of the witch and the baby dragon. You know, see King did a good job funneling all that trash to make sure that queen is going inside of the core uh, where, he'll, where he will be coming up uh, on another air defense. Went ahead and took out enemy queen. So now there's only one more AD left up on this base. He will be starting his balloons uh, or basically the, the entire flight portion uh, on the top side of this base up at 12 o'clock. Another thing that we're seeing, guys, let me know what you guys think. One thing that we have been using not only at Town Hall 9, uh, but 10v10 is bringing CC loons as opposed to the CC hound, especially with these single shot inferno towers. Uh, whether you have a level three hound or a level four hound, doesn't seem to be making a whole lot uh, of a difference, but those bringing those seven CC loons along, uh, we're just seeing, I mean, completely ends up crushing this base. And again, what makes it more remarkable is the fact that he did this fresh ending on this wizard tower over here. They're gonna be clumping up, taking a lot of heat, a lot of heat uh, from that air defense. Has a decent split to make sure he goes ahead and takes out that archer tower. Uh, clutch queen right here can be taking out this air defense. Uh, and it did get close to time, but again, guys, this was a fresh 10v10. Has all kinds of minions up and ended just in time. Huge shout to Tadpole, 2% shy of a 10v10 six pack and really could have changed uh, that war. But again, was so, so close. Came down to the very end, guys. Everybody at the edge of their seats uh, in this one. Back to back wars to you guys. Uh, next up, uh, we have, this will be the last 10v10 we'll be showing you guys. Um, Simon, my man Simon, this is usually our 10v11 guy. Um, but again, in a no dip style war, not doing 10v11s. So we have Simon gonna be coming in with uh, Queen Ho, uh, gonna be taking on uh, Inter from One Hive 2.0. And again, this attack being fresh, uh, definitely uh, kudos uh, to Simon for getting this attack done. And again, we have a lot of our 10v11 guys stepping up and getting those 10v10 three stars. Uh, so very, very nicely done. Here we go, wall breakers in. Goes ahead and gets a successful wall break, you'll see. He'll be coming up on this expo. He's in range of that queen. And here comes the enemy CC. It is a golem loon. Uh, still has one more range and three heal spell to deploy. No jumps um, for this queen charge right here. I uh, just gonna be dropping down his second rage to go ahead and beat through this golem as he is taking heat from a couple point or from three point defenses. Uh, so once those golemites are out of the way, uh, goes ahead and takes out that AD, takes out that cannon. Just trying to carve a nice path for the hogs, uh, we just have 26 of his own, and he's gonna be having hogs coming out of the CC as well. So Queen just beat down a wall. He's, he went ahead and made the decision to start his hogs nice and early. I notice uh, Simon does still have Queen ability as well. First heal spell down as he's approaching that first Inferno Tower where there was a giant bomb right behind it. And he also has some hogs coming in over here at three o'clock. CC hogs are in, went ahead and dropped down his second heal spell uh, as they are gonna be approaching the second and final Inferno Tower. And he does still have a wizard and two minions to deploy to go ahead and help out uh, with this cleanup. Uh, here comes Queen. She is rounding the bend. Uh, gonna be coming up on this Archer Tower right there, taking it out. And his hogs will be ending on a bomb tower, but since they just came out of that heal spell, they were healed back up to full health. And actually had a decent split as they are taking out these cannons. And Queen is uh, gonna be helping on cleanup. And notice he went ahead and dropped down his wizards and minions on the opposite side of the hogs. Uh, and just with what was that one hog left, the little hog that could, getting it done. And look at these uh, archers taking out the CC right in the core of the base. Beautiful attack by Simon. Uh, getting that 10v10. I'll show you guys our two 11v11s before we go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, so right here, we'll go ahead and start off with um, Cody. Going to be taking on 
uh, Cody versus Tony, uh, number five on the One Hive 2.0 side, doing it with a very, very powerful attack strategy right now, especially when you're taking on uh, anti three layouts. Uh, we have been seeing this attack all over the place, uh, again, on these 11v11 three star attempts. Uh, again, doing the queen walk into pretty much a bitch attack. Uh, where we see queen starting over here at uh, six o'clock. Uh, we often see the warden going in with all the bowlers and the main push, uh, you know, into the core of the base. He went ahead and dropped his warden to go ahead and help uh, with this walk. Um, Gollum coming out of the CC, go ahead and dropping on a few witches and a few bowlers over here on the top side of uh, nine o'clock right here. He is gonna be entering, uh, dropping on his first jump spell to go ahead and lead all of his troops into the first Inferno Tower right behind the Town Hall. And right here, all the bull look at all of those bowlers flying into this base. Uh, went ahead and saved his Warren ability as they are approaching not only the CC, uh, the Eagle Artillery Fire, and the multi-target Inferno damage. And also look at this flank up here, so, so healthy, uh, which is crucial to these attacks is having a decent flank, making sure all of your troops are staying inside uh, the core of this base, which is exactly what's gonna be happening on Cody's hit right here. Uh, second Inferno, the first one was multi-target, the second one was on single target, but with all those bowlers, um, and also with the Warden behind them increasing their hit points, there's no way that single shot Inferno Tower got completely uh, overwhelmed. And you'll see as things are starting to slow down, notice down, he went ahead and popped his King ability, right? I was about to say it. Uh, but notice he had both of his hero abilities for the back end of this base. And you can see with all these bowlers, still with his Queen ability, uh, just a cannon, an Archer Tower, and a Tesla left up on the top side of this base. And look at how many troops. He must have had over 90 troop space left over. Beautiful attack, getting 11 v 11. Uh, and again, we did have two 11 v 11, three stars. I'll go ahead and show you guys the second one. We got PSC taking on none other than Trumpy from One Hive 2.0. And yet again, look down at the troop bar. Same exact attack strategy uh, that we just saw Cody. And look at this beautiful bowler bounce. Look at that right off the lab. Uh, going to be taking out that mortar. Uh, but yeah, again, we're going to be seeing uh, that level 50 queen putting in work. Uh, taking out their number three. We got Queen starting over here at one o'clock and again doing that Queen walk into um, it is, she, uh, She's gonna go ahead and meet up with the main push as we will be entering into the first and front talk compartment Look how close that Queen's health got especially for, so he went ahead the rage was just a couple maybe a, a Second and a half late where he would have uh, if you dropped that rage a second and a half early would have been able to save uh, that Queen ability uh, but here comes the main push uh, but it, at the end of the day, it's not going to matter. Still going to go ahead and flatten this base. And you'll see right here, look at this flank. Look how many witches. Look at how many bowlers are on that flank. Uh, went ahead and popped the Grand Warren ability. Even healing that flank up as everything is approaching this core where the Eagle Artillery is. Um, you see Queen went ahead and sniped that baby dragon right out of the sky. And all those bowlers can pretty much one shot that eagle artillery right there in the core. And you'll see he's getting um, nice bounces from all the bowlers off of these buildings. Um, pretty much getting two for ones all over the uh, all over this base. Uh, Archer Tower just went down from those bounces off of the town hall. And you'll see uh, he does still have his king ability. Uh, and you'll see, look at the, look at this flank over here, guys. Look at how many, how many, you try, you tell me how many skeletons that is that he still has up. Uh, wizard meeting up with that flank up there, and you'll see Queen is still in the core. We'll go ahead and times two this uh, as again things are starting to slow down a little bit as he went ahead and used all of his spells and all of his abilities. Uh, but you'll see, there's just way too much for this base to handle. Going to be ending on a wizard tower, uh, that archer tower, and that cannon. But again, somehow through all of that havoc, all of that mayhem, somehow still has his healers up. Shout out to PSC's healers, getting it done. Uh, Going to be ending on the cannon, wrapping it up for our second 11v11 three star. Again, the war did not go how we wanted it. Um, but yeah, right here, uh, like I said, I want to show you guys this hit from Tadpole. With three minutes left on Fat Joe, 98%. Huge shout out to Fat Joe, the Hands down, the best queen, the entire clan, 
that Fortune Steele has seen. Wow, incredible how he got that 10v10 three-star. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed all the attacks. Huge shout out to everybody, not only in Forge from Steel, but in One Hype 2.0. Yet again, getting the best of us over in FFS in the last war uh, for the Clash Cup League that Forge from Steel will be in. Uh, but again, shout out to them, the final 105 to 106. And uh, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like it. Again, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.